c'est vrai que moi avec les autres tout so the previous video I have explained about the definition of Rocket Liner and show you how to install Rocket Liner Studio okay so for this video I'm going to show the example of backpropagation algorithm in Rocket Liner Studio so first thing first go to the repository panel open the sample folder and open the data folder then drag on the iris data set to the process panel okay then after that click on any blank space in the process panel here left click okay, and then also click on the edit insert building block then click on nominal cross validation then click ok drag it to the right of iris data set then connect the output of the iris to the input of the validation so double click on the validation operator and then you click on the decision tree and press delete on your keyboard then go to the operator panel find the neural network click on the neural network operator to the training panel then connect to the training dataset and connect the model to the testing so in the neural network parameter you can see you can change the training cycle, the learning rate, the momentum and then you can also add some hidden layers and for the training cycle, the bigger the training cycle is the longer the loading time for you to run the process so for, for, for the time being just leave it as it is and then go to the process and connect the model of the validation to the result then connect the average of the validation to the result okay, after that, try to run so as you can see here, the accuracy of this algorithm is 97.33% correct so it predicts Aristosa for 50 out of 50 and it is true then it predicts Aristosa color for 47, 47 iris version color which is true and one iris virginica which is false okay and then it is it, it predicts iris virginica for three version color which is false and then 49 iris virginica which is true so the overall uh, accuracy is 100% for true iris dosa 94% for iris version color 98% for iris virginica then you, there is also the improved neural network here as you can see the input layer and then the hidden layer and then the output so go back to the design click on the first validation click on the neural network so click on the hidden layers so you can see you can edit the hidden layer here so for example i'm going to use hidden one Then, for example, I choose seven hidden layer size. Then you can also add another hidden layer here. Click on Add Entry. And then you just tap anything to. Then, for example, second hidden layer size is five. Okay, click on Apply. And then change the learning rate you can use it you can change anything you want for example 0.2 here and using then click on run so you can see the hidden layer here uh, the default one is removed then it replaced by the hidden one that I use which is seven nodes one two three four five six seven Eight, and then the five hidden layer and then additional one from the default okay and then this after I edit the prediction I think is the same so but somehow if you change the value you can play around with it and then the output may, might be better the accuracy may be 78% or, or maybe it worse 
so you can you have to try everything to get the better prediction okay then i think that's all for the back propagation example thank you for your attention